Hey everybody, just a quick tutorial to show you how to use SafeAssign um, in Blackboard. Now SafeAssign is a what we call a plagiarism detection software and it can be used in a variety of ways. Faculty, we use it to look at uh, the reports that the program creates to make sure that things aren't plagiarized in your papers. Um, but it's also useful too for you to check if accidentally you might have copied something verbatim or if you're quoting something you forgot to put quotation marks around it. Um, of course in this class this won't be necessary since we're asking you not to use any direct quotations. Remember that. I um, had to give some feedback for a few people on that this week. Um, but in other courses this might be the case. So it's a useful tool but it has its limitations and so I want to walk you through some tips and tricks that I have found useful in the past on how to use it and how to navigate it and to make it work for you. So I'm here in my student preview mode where I submitted a fake assignment for this week's uh, assignment 4.1. Um, if I click on the assignment, um, I'm going to show you how to access your safe assign report. You'll see over here it gives you um, a link with a little chevron or arrow um, to safe assign. It tells me I have a 0% overall match. That's really low and that might happen actually happened with a few papers this week because you probably didn't include any references in there or any sources. Some of you did and in those cases you probably have a match there. It's not unusual to have 20-30% there or even higher sometimes. The overall number doesn't really tell you too much. You really have to go into the report. The overall number just gives you an aggregate of overall uh, instances of potential plagiarized passages but they could be the titles of journals in your reference page because again safe assign isn't smart it can't distinguish between um, actual case of plagiarism where you lift a sentence or where you just you know appropriately cite the source that somebody else might have cited before so you click on this little arrow or chevron you click on view originality report and a window like this comes up um, to give you a better example let me show you um, another um, image right over here from a student paper where I blacked out the student's name. It gives you the 21% overall rating. Um, and here it shows you four different instances where the 21% come from. So let me show you um, the report the way it looked like. Here it is. And I'll blow in the, the image right here. So you'll see the yellow, the blue, and some of the different colors reflected right here. So those are those four instances of quote unquote detected moments of plagiarism by safe assign. But again, um, somebody might have somebody else probably has used these sources or it might have been one of your previous papers. This happens particularly in a class like ours where you submit several versions of the similar paper. So obviously this is not a case of plagiarism. So the 21% um, doesn't be uh, doesn't shows you obviously you didn't plagiarize. It's just the software detects it as an instance of plagiarism. Um, but it doesn't show you clearly um, that's you know that's the case. So if I click on, for example, this one right here, it tells me uploaded source another student's paper. Obviously, they use the same um, the same article in the paper. Let me show you some other examples um, from some of the papers I've taken I've seen this week, um, where again it looks like you actually plagiarized because it was flagged, but it really isn't. First example here um, is actually a really good example. It's a sentence where somebody writes about the uh, Heroin and Opioid Prevention Effort and Treatment Act. Um, so it looks like, oh my god, it's a 66% match. Well, it's because somebody else wrote about the same paper. Probably the same student, because this is again your second draft, remember? So it, it, it flags the title of the act that really you have no other way of expressing anyway. So this obviously isn't plagiarized in a sense that we would report this for cases of academic dishonesty. Another example is this one right here. Um, you might recognize this phrase. Many of you wrote something similar. You know, I searched PubMed, Google Scholar, and so on. So if you if you click on this, again, you get the suspected entry with a 67% match. You see uploaded and source. Again, they're not identical. What you'll see is somebody also wrote about what they searched. They probably had a similar assignment. Um, and they just use the same databases. You see it's in different order. Obviously, Google Scholar is spelled differently. It's obviously not a case of plagiarism, but a case of people writing about similar areas in their work. And the last example I want to show you 
is you know a hospice programs effective at improving end of life satisfaction and care very good research question um, it looks like it's a 63 percent match and if you look at the comparison though between uploaded and source you'll see that what is copied is the the phrase improving care at the end of life now it doesn't really appear verbatim even in the uploaded ver in the actual version of the student's paper um, since you're writing since this paper is about improving care at the end of life and hospice kind of related issues you probably will get flagged if somebody else is writing about a similar topic um, in terms of some of these expressions. So again, this is also another case of plagiarism. That's why it's so important, again, as I said before, to check your um, to check the instances instance by instance rather than looking at the overall number or even just looking at the highlighted pieces to compare them. When you want to get nervous, and when I get nervous as an instructor, um, is when I see in the uploaded and in the source box the exact same phrase or phrases even and I've seen this before so this is not it doesn't happen too often but it happens when that happens then we have a problem right because then we look at lifted passages however if you're writing a paper with direct quotations that might actually come up but the quotation marks around me and the citation show me that the writer has done proper attribution but I get nervous when I see the same exact phrase and upload it in the source box without any citation, any indication of um, direct quotation. And that is a problem. And that can cause some severe um, problems for you as students in terms of, uh, you know, failing grade in the, on the paper, a failing grade in the course, potential reporting to the um, Office of Academic Integrity. Um, and that can, you know, in the worst case scenario to dismissal from the programs. This is serious. Um, so safe assign can be a great tool for you to detect, wow, did I accidentally not quote something? Now again, you wanted the problem here because we don't want you to use direct quotation in this class, but in other classes that might be the case. Did I forgot to put the quotation marks around it? Or did you accidentally inadvertently somehow copy a phrase that you should have probably paraphrased some more? So it's a great checking tool. You just need to know how to use it and not to be freaked out by the numbers necessarily.